Hey guys, there was a question posted in the community recently by Dance Model Garage. And the question is, why did you start a YouTube channel? And uh, I've seen a lot of guys give a lot of great answers to this question and uh, really let us into their thought process as to why they started the YouTube channel. So I just thought I would uh, toss my two cents in for whatever it's worth as to why I started my YouTube channel as it's got a little bit of a history to it. Because I actually started my channel years ago, many, many years ago, as a place just to post things on my favorite car, the Pontiac Fiero, of which I own two of them. So I would post all sorts of different things about repairs, tutorials, that sort of thing on the car, and the process I went through when I was restoring it. Um, didn't post as much as I wanted to as I was still new to the whole YouTube thing when I did that. And a lot of the footage was uh, lost, but I did post quite a bit. And over the years, the channel was primarily focused toward that. Then I all of a sudden rediscovered my love of the scale model, model hobby. That would be probably around the time that uh, COVID hit and the big shutdown came to everybody. And since being stuck at home gave me the opportunity to rediscover model building. So I had a few kids in my stash that I figured, okay, I'm home. Let me just see if I can still do this. And I wound up loving it and have not stopped since. So at that point, I decided, well, you know what? Uh, I'm doing all of this stuff here. I'm going to record it and upload it to my YouTube channel just so that I could have a record of some of the work that I've done. Primarily, it wasn't to start a model building channel or, you know, get views or uh, I didn't really think there was that big of a community out there as I was pretty much on my own building models. Uh, didn't have a lot of, uh, friends who were really into it. You know, I've got, my brothers were sort of into it on and off, but nobody's serious. And I didn't realize that there was this great community out there that was involved. So I started uploading some of my videos. Uh, first they were just uploaded a series of build videos and, um, I started getting people responding to them and I was shocked uh, because I really didn't expect to get the reception that I got. And so then I decided, well, I'll just upload more of my videos. And when I started uploading, it was primarily, well, actually the only reason I was uploading videos is because I wanted to keep a record of my builds so that I could go back and watch different techniques in case I forgot how to do something. I can just go back and see how I did it on a, uh, on a previous build more like an archive of things that I've done that I could go back and revisit. You know, it was primarily just for me. Um, and uh, I just wanted to go back and revisit a few things every now and then. And I kind of like just reliving the memory of a certain build. As for me, it's always the journey of the build is more important than the end product and the fun that I have and figuring things out and the paint work and the creation of the kit. So I thought that if I upload these videos to YouTube, I could always go back and revisit them and just take a look again at what I've done. And um, I started to enjoy filming these things and putting them on, the, on YouTube and going back and looking at them. And uh, I have to admit that making the videos to me is probably half the fun of doing the builds. Um, but then I started to get reactions to these videos. Uh, my channel primarily had subscribers that were into the Pontiac Fiero, but then I started to get reactions from the scale modeling community. You know, people were actually watching my videos and I'm like, Wait, what? Why would anybody want to watch my videos? I just did this to entertain myself. But I started getting really good responses from a lot of the great people out there. Um, and then I uh, started following 
a few channels. There's a few channels which I love and I watch all of their videos. Um, BG's uh, Model Workshop, the Matt at, st at Scale Model Car videos. Um, this one that I was just watching today, just before I started this, J Hart Model Works. I love his channel. Um, uh, among a bunch of others. And um, I started to see just how really big this community was and how much there was involved in it. So I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe I should just get a little more involved. So I started posting more videos as I started building more, uh, like this guy right here, which has been a very long video series for the uh, Pops Fiero. And um, I just started to get more and more reactions. Now, I'm no expert. I'll be the last one to tell you that I am a pro and that uh, I can build whatever. It is. No, no, that's not me. I consider myself an average builder, but I really enjoy putting details in and that type of thing and really modifying as opposed to, uh, you know, just building straight from the box. I like to modify the kids. So, and with this kid, as a matter of fact, just to go on a little tangent here, the previous build of this kit I have on the channel, and that helped me a lot with a few of the things that I had forgotten. Uh, some of the ins and outs of this kit, Red, as there are a couple of things that you have to be aware of when you're putting it together. So, um, see, the archive works. But uh, then I started making friends on YouTube, you know, and uh, I met a couple of great guys over on YouTube, and hopefully, uh, come NNL East this year cross my fingers that everything gets together. I'll be able to meet a couple of these guys as I've never actually met any of the YouTube community, but uh, at NNL East here in New Jersey this year, hopefully I'm going to meet uh, one of my favorite guys, Frizzo. Hopefully uh, we'll finally meet Frizz and um, a few other YouTubers and I can get a little more involved in this community. But uh, primarily, it's just my, my love of the hobby that keeps me going on this. As, you know, I work uh, long weeks. Um, and when I get home, I like to spend at least an hour with Mrs. Onyx Fierro and my little man, Maddox the Model Mup, Model Pup. Sorry, he refuses to let me call him a mutt. Um, and you guys have seen him on my channel from time to time. And uh, I spend a little time with them, and then I come down for an hour or so and just, uh, you know, puts along a little bit on the on the bench here. And uh, that keeps me going as far as getting my creative urges out. So every time I do something, I do record it, and then I edit it, make the videos. Making the videos can take me, you can probably take four or five hours of footage, edit it down to a half an hour. 40 minutes of footage. Um, then it's all sorts of editing and little uh, video tricks that I put in here. Um, I went over exactly what I used to edit, which is basically on my phone. I don't have a big fancy setup. I got a phone. I got a light. Boom. Hey, there we go. Production facility. Studio City. But that's how I do it. And uh, recently just got this wireless mic here. This thing is cool. So uh, I put a video up on what exactly I use to make my videos, including this mic here. And um, it's, it's very easy. It's very cheap. You know, this light here and this stand, I think together it's like 50 bucks. I mean, come on. And um, so it's just, a, it's just a great way for me to delve deeper into the hobby and share it with the community as I've never actually ever shown any of my builds in public. I mean, as much as I've uh, done, I've never actually shown anything in public. I've never been to a show. Well, I've never been to a show or I've never shown my cars at a show, which is something I'm hoping to do. Hopefully when, if NNL East uh, works out this year in New Jersey, hopefully I'll have the, you know, get the guts up to show a couple of my builds. I don't think I'm going to win anything, and I don't think I'm in the class of some of the people that I've seen there, but I really would like to just experience that, just to meet some of the other guys, show them my work, you know, get tips, get tricks. I've learned a lot from watching YouTube, 
And I just wanted to share what I know with the people out there. And maybe they can pick up a trick or two from me. I mean, I've uh, figured out a few little interesting, like this alignment table thing that I have here. I did on my previous video. You guys, if you want to watch that, that's actually, I thought it was cool. Um, but the, what keeps me going is not, I'm not looking to become a YouTube superstar, which I don't think I'm going to. Um, I'm not looking to, my first thought is not about making money here. I'm here for the love of the hobby. That's all that it is. I enjoy it. It really relaxes me. It gets, keeps my brain going and figuring out problems, which, strangely enough, another tangent here. This has really helped me at work. I work for a, one of the premier Mercedes-Benz dealers, Mercedes-Benz of Paramus, here in New Jersey. And um, this, I've noticed that focusing here, figuring out all the issues, how things go together, how things can be changed, how things can be modified, has really helped me to train my brain without even realizing it into figuring out how to get in and out of some of these vehicles as, you know, without, without even thinking twice about it. Now I look at a car part. First thing I see is how does it go together? How does it come apart? How can you get things in and out of it? How can you assemble and disassemble? And all of that is coming from here, from these little plastic cars. They're helping, they, they, they've, without me even realizing it, it's helped me to train my brain to be a, a problem solver. And at my place, you know, I am one of the, the, one of the problem solvers there. You know, when something needs to be taken apart, put back together, you know, a lot of the guys come to me because I enjoy that. To me, it's fun. It's like working on a one, one scale model kit. That's exactly what it's like, which means that it's a lot of fun and I really enjoy it. Which is why I, one of the reasons why I enjoy this hobby so much. Because 124 scale, 1 1 scale, they go together, they come apart. It's all the same thing, just different sizes. So, um, this is really a good brain exercise. It's a good hand to eye coordination exercise. Um, and uh, it's, it's just some of the benefits of model building. So, You'll never see me um, asking for anything because that's, that's that's not my thing. That's not where I'm going with this hobby. I'm always going to be just here for the love of the hobby itself. And yeah, you'll see me promote certain things, but only what I use and only because I like it. I would never promote anything that I didn't use or that I didn't personally like or feel would be advantageous to you guys. Um, I mean, that that's just what it is with me. It's just a pure love of the hobby. There is no monetary incentive involved. There is no reason for me to do this other than that I love it. And I hope that comes across in my builds. I hope it comes across in my videos. Even though I will admit my early videos, they just kind of sucked. But that's, you know, before, because yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing. But my early videos do kind of suck. My later videos are much better, I think, anyway, even though I do tend to get maybe a little overly technical in the way that I explain things. Um, and I know some of them are a little drawn out in the demonstrations that I give because it's, it, I don't know, it's, it's just a carryover from work. Like, I carry over some of this to work and I carry over some of work to this. And, um, and I like making tutorials. I like sharing the knowledge. It's I, I do that at work. I do it here. It's just something that uh, is just part of who I am. And um, it's just part of why I enjoy this hobby. Um, I've been doing it. At, I started this. I started in the hobby over 30 years ago. Then I stopped for the same reasons we all do. And like I said, because of COVID, I came back to it. And I realize how much I love it. I mean, not only cars, I also do sci-fi models. I do uh, uh, anime stuff. 
um, just anything that just catches my interest. And doing it here on YouTube has allowed me to come into contact with a lot of people who do the same. As I said before, it allowed me to it allowed me to know that I am not the only guy doing this. That there are other people out there who love it as much as I do, and who have just as much to share as I do in it. And we can learn from each other. And that is one of the things that I like the most about it. I've watched so many videos and I've learned quite a bit from a bunch of them. Coming back into the hobby, I didn't remember how to do half of this stuff. So I watched videos and whenever I had a question about how to do a specific, a specific technique, I would watch the videos and that just got me right back into it. Um, I love build videos. I mean, I, I will watch an entire, I don't care how long it is, from beginning to end, I will watch an entire build video of every process of the other YouTubers' builds. Um, because it's just, the technical aspect of it just fascinates me. And I hope that what I do is as interesting to you guys out there. Um, and I do tend to talk a lot. That's uh, that's another like like I'm doing right now. That's why this video is you know this long. So um, I guess that's the gist of it. I make these videos because them, I enjoy making them. I enjoy posting them to YouTube, and I enjoy interacting with the community, which honestly I didn't even really know existed until I started doing this. Now don't get me wrong. I'm still going to do the Fiero Automotive stuff on this channel. So that there's going to be a toss-up back and forth between the two, as they're both my two favorite hobbies. Um, and that also keeps my Fiero buddies out there who like to see those videos uh, entertained. Um, but it, the, the fact that now I know there is a community out here that enjoys this hobby as much as I do really has opened it up for me to a whole new level. and is why I'm going to keep doing these videos. You know, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm really jumping for joy for that because that just means that there's almost a thousand people out here who like this stuff. You know, or not who like this stuff, but who like my stuff, which I'm really amazed over. I mean, to tell you the truth, I, mean, I don't think there's anybody going to be sitting here watching me because uh, uh, I'm not really comfortable on camera. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I'm really not. I prefer just to have the work speak for itself. Um, and I start to ramble like I'm doing right now. Yeah, you guys get this, I'm rambling. Um, but uh, I guess that's it. I do it because it entertains me and coincidentally entertains you guys too, I guess. And uh, I'm just a um, I think I'm like five subscribers away from 1,000, which I'm going to be jumping for joy when I hit 1,000 because I never thought I would hit 100. Um, and I'm hoping that all you guys out there that watch this video uh, will continue to watch and continue to uh, join me on every one of these uh, journeys that I do here or with the real cars, you know, car shows, all sorts of stuff that I post on here that is related in one way or another to the hobby or to both my hobbies. So um, did I say everything I meant to say? I think I did. I don't think I have uh, anything else to add to that other than why did I start this YouTube channel? Because I like it. And I hope you do too. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, tell you that there's a whole bunch of new builds coming up. And for you Fiero guys, there's a whole bunch of Fiero got stuff coming up too. I got to do some repairs on the car and I want you guys to come with me. Um, I'm still looking for that mouse that ate the wiring harness in the other car. And when I find him, this is, yeah, we're going to have a problem. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, hope this video didn't bore you. Hope it uh, didn't ramble on too long. And that's uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I do it because I love it, and I love that you guys love it. So that means that I'll just keep doing it. And there'll be more tutorial videos, so I hope you guys don't get bored with listening to my voice. All right.
I will see you on the next one.